Alrighty, hopefully everyone can hear me. This video is to demonstrate a problem with the 3D touch I got. And because no one believes me, you've always got to make videos because everyone thinks you set it up wrong. But it's not the case. I checked online and these do fault quite a lot actually. So this is a cold board. I'll show you the power on cycle just to prove that it is connected correctly. As you can see, it does the uh, pin down test. Now I can do a self test as well. Let's get a BL Touch self test. As you can see, it's working just fine. This board is cold, and I'm going to show you a bed leveling with a cold board. And you'll see that it pretty much works, but you will see one glitch where it'll actually come down and double tap as if it's glitching out. However, it does not hurt the actual, um, it does not hurt the process. However, the other, the problem with this is that it glitches out completely and fails completely if I heat the board up and then try to use it. And a lot of you are probably screaming and saying, oh, it's your cabling, it's a wire interference. No, because I can turn the, the power comes through a relay switch. There is no power going near the BL touch from the, for the board and also I can disable the power when I'm doing the BL touch sensing you know bed leveling and the problem will still happen that's so there you go but anyway let's get started on this I might just raise this camera a little bit hopefully um, at this resolution you can get a decent look so I'm going to do a bed level and it's going to end up doing, you know, uh, what is it? 5x5, five five, 25 points on this bed, which is a very big bed, 40 centimeters squared. So let's get going. Prepare unified bed leveling. Let's see, UBL tools it is. And uh, I think it is build mesh cold mesh. Okay, here we go. Pay close attention to that. When I point this out, when the BL touch, I mean the 3L, uh, 3D touch, I keep calling it BL touch, when the 3D touch fails, it will try to drive the uh, nozzle into the bed. Fortunately, it doesn't cause any damage, because um, this thing has a bit of play. As you can see, it's it's doing pretty good on a cold, cold board. Hasn't even double tapped yet, so, you know. I might have saw it then, it double tapped. But it won't affect the mesh, at least not at that level of uh, problems.
did it again, double tapped. Now that, that's not actually a problem, the double tap, it doesn't cause any errors in the mesh, so that's fine. Just remember this is a cold board, this is a cold bed. successful as expected that's how it's meant to do that's exactly what it's meant to do don't even care about the double tap so much but the problem that I'm going to show you which is a fatal error is I'm going to change this to 95 degrees so I go to control temperature let's put the bed at 95 for some reason this is locked at 95 you can actually go much higher but 95 shows the problem anyway and I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to let that get to 95 degrees and then go through the bed leveling again. But before I go through the bed leveling, I will disable the heater so there's no possibility of wire interference. Which shouldn't happen anyway. But just to eliminate any possibility of other errors causing it. And then we'll see what happens. Now, before I finish this, I'll tell you what I think's happening. I think the heat off the bed is uh, heating up this. And when this heats up, it starts glitching out. It's like a, it's like a, you know, the processor and it just starts glitching. It can't, doesn't like temperature increases. You know, it doesn't like, um, you know, it might be the heat coming off this might raises up to 40 degrees Celsius and that could be causing it to fail. I'm not sure, but um, anyway, we'll let it there. We'll let it leave, we'll leave it there. And I'll come back when that's heated up and then we'll run the test again and see what happens. We are back, let's tighten this camera mount, and we have 95 degrees. Now let's do the bed leveling again with 95 degrees temperature. I will turn the printer off and on again as to reset the board and so that there is no possibility whatsoever of any sort of firmware glitch. So let's put the camera in. Uh -huh. Camera mount is so shit. Alright. Camera in. Hopefully everyone can see that. Alright. I'll turn printer off. Turn printer on. And we'll go straight into the bed leveling. Prepare unified bed leveling. UDL tools. Build mesh, and I'll just select cold, cold meshes again because you know the board—it doesn't care; it just starts. So the board is definitely um, still about 95 degrees Celsius. Let's try to get a better view there. So just keep keep watching that 3D touch. Normally it fails about halfway. Mm -hmm. Double tap already. Now if, when it fails I'm going to have to turn the printer off. Otherwise it just, well I don't have to but you'll see what it does. It messes up the mesh. And uh, causes an error on the uh, controller board. The probing failed. Yeah, the chances are it's going to work this time because yeah, that's 
way it goes. When you turn the camera on, everything suddenly works. Everything goes away and all the problems go away and hide. And then you turn the camera off and they're back. The board is 86 degrees Celsius at the moment, so it's still pretty hot. It's going to make a liar of me, isn't it? It doesn't do it this time, I'll run it again, this time when I'll keep the temperature up to 95. Nope. Bingo! You see what it's doing? Failure. And so the board was at 83 odd, 82 degrees by the time we got to there. Doesn't matter. So what's happening is probably the temperature is getting into this. And it's somehow causing electronic problems here. Now it's important to note the bed uh, was not turned on. It was just running off residual heat uh, after getting to 95 degrees Celsius. So there's no interference. The 3D Touch failed trying to probe the bed when it's hot. It just it just had an error. It just aired out. Now it used to work fine. It used to work when the bed was actually temp um, hot temperature, but then you know I used it about ten times, and then you know a few days went past, and then I came back and tried to use it, and it's doing this. So as you can see, it's faulty. There's something wrong there. It's not the cables. Nothing's interfering. It was working. Now it's not. My solution is probably going to have to be this, which I'm going to have to install. This is a genuine BL touch. I had this on originally. Had no problems with it. Uh, unfortunately, I broke it, <laughs> my original one, so this one here is my replacement, which I should have bought originally, but I thought I'd give these three 3D touches a go, and yeah, I don't, I don't think they're very good, and I had a look online, and a lot of people seem to agree. So, that's that.